Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. My goodness, have I got some exciting news for you all. <laughs> it's really nice to come on here and actually give you a good story and an exciting story um, of something that's gone really well up to now, touch wood. So, yeah, I need a minute to contain myself, then we'll get into it. <laughs> okay. So I'm laid in bed the other night and basically it was about half past 12, quarter to one in the morning and my phone started buzz, 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 buzz because I have it on silent but I have vibrate on in case any of my kids need me because um, I've got one at university, one that doesn't live with us, she lives with her mum so I was like, oh, who's ringing me? woke up this night in particular our son Dexter had had a few nightmares so Rob was in with him sorting him out I'd woken up panicked picked up my phone and saw 20 I think it was 24 eBay notifications and I was like oh, my eBay's been glitching a lot lately I don't know whether yours has where you get two notifications for one sale and I'm not talking, obviously, you write them sold and then your buyer's paid. I'm just talking like two of the same notifications for one sale. I've been getting it a lot. So, <laughs> I'm still absolutely shook by this, honestly. I couldn't sleep after reading what I saw. So anyway, I'm going to show you now, because I took a screen grab of it. I'm going to show you what I sold. And I think a lot of you are going to be really surprised, especially after one of a video that I did in the recent past about this pickup and that you all doubted. So a lot of, no, not all of you, sorry, but some of you doubted that I would get the money that I thought I could get for them. And this isn't an I told you so video at all. It's an excitement video. And I just want to show you that you shouldn't always believe what the listings say on eBay and you should go with your gut sometimes. So let me show you what I saw on my phone. Honestly, this is unreal. You can't see the prices at the moment, but I'm going to show you them individually in a minute. These went on a 20% off coupon. All to the same buyer, they are going to China. I literally posted them today. And I went into town and bought cardboard envelopes and packing and a box and everything to put them in. So... I could actually see, look, there you go, I cleared £360.68. This is how much they all went for. I think altogether it was £426.86. Unreal. I honestly am still in shock. It's the biggest sale I've had to date and these have obviously gone to a collector. I got a lovely message after they'd bought them all asking if I'd make sure that they were packaged all really well and I'd make sure they basically got some in one piece and I was like, yep, yeah, not a problem, don't worry. So me and Rob, the next day, after having no sleep with my son because he'd had nightmares, bless him, getting up for school, getting him to school, getting sorted, we went to town and I bought a load of cardboard-backed envelopes bubble wrap I already had, um, a strong box and everything else and they have gone now. So I am hoping that these all get to China to the collector in one piece. I think I'd be very unlucky if they don't. I did um, special delivery um, to cover this because I had to do cover for up to £500. <sighs> I honestly am still in shock. But I want this to be a tale of when you think something won't sell for much but in your gut you think you should sell it for more because it's a special item and something that you're probably not going to come across again then reach for the stars because you can get a really good price for your items if you just hang out. I have had these on auction for about a month and 
they weren't getting any views, so I popped them all on to buy it now. And the next day, well, it was the day after, really, if you think after midnight, they all sold to the same person. Right, I'm going to show that this is where I show you how much I actually got in total. But I'd obviously only cleared £360 of this. £427.86. And that's without the postage. I am absolutely shook, shook to the core. And there's what I cleared. There's my fees. <laughs> this is why I love reselling so much. And it's amazing because it's come at a time when we really need it. So to get this sale, I mean, you can imagine... In a way, I wish I hadn't seen it on my phone until the morning because I couldn't sleep. I even thought when I did eventually wake up with the alarm to get my son to school that I dreamt it. <laughs> a lot of people said to me, on here, you'll be lucky to get three or four pound a magazine. That's how much they're selling for. And I stuck to my guns because I knew the condition um, I knew how many were out there by searching eBay. Um, I'd had a lot of questions sent to me about them. So there was interest. And I just thought, I've just got to hang out. I've just got to hang out and wait. Um, so basically, <laughs> after eBay fees had come off, my £427.86 turned into £360 and whatever pence it was. And then obviously I have to take off my £15, what I paid for them. And my, I think I spent, yeah, about £10 on the extra packaging to make sure they were right. I bought some of the plastic wallets, you know, what you used to have at school in your binders to put each magazine into. And I bought some cardboard backed brown envelopes and I put two magazines per envelope, sealed them. I bubble wrapped the envelopes in two different bubble wrap packages and put them inside a box with filler. And then I taped it all up. I um, cling filmed it with the black shrink wrap, put fragile tape all over it and made sure that I did the right label to get it insured for £500 because it's going GSP and I know that when it gets to the GSP point then it's their problem but I still was anxious about getting it there and I'm anxious about them getting to China I just hope they get there okay and that the buyer is happy they are in the condition that I listed them in um Everything that was, you know, there was some with a bit of folding to them or maybe a little bit torn at the back. Everything was in the photographs. Everything was done. And I'm sure that if they're spending that amount of money, they're going to make sure that they're right. So, yeah, I'm out of, I'm officially out of Barbie magazines. And I'm really excited to see if I can find some more. <laughs> If you have made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. I'm ecstatic. I want you to write unbelievable, Julie, in the comments if you've made it this far. Please give me a thumbs up because I think I deserve it for that sale. Wow. <laughs> Still can't believe it. I'm going to be celebrating this weekend. <sighs> anyway, back to my normal bit of lingo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for regular notifications. If you'd like to support me further, my buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. And my super thanks are next to the thumbs. It's amazing, isn't it? I wish you all sales like this so you can see how it feels. The best sale I've had before this was £160 for a Kenzo skirt that I bought for a pound. And I thought that was amazing. And I'm just like... <laughs> I mean it was it was amazing all sales are amazing I love all sales but wow yeah I think these Barbie magazines will go down in history for proving people wrong 
including me at times. I was doubtful at times. I was doubtful. But my lesson learned here is do not go by what the people say. Go by your gut. Go for that high price. Nobody pays your bills but you. So what have you got to lose? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. And I was going to give you all the spiel again then. That's how woo, I am. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Love you lots and be kind. Ta-ta.